The following program is for adult audiences only. <laughs> I think you should. There we go. Uh, hang on. Can I make that louder? I don't know if that's louder or quieter. I don't oh, know. That's <laughs> Eric and Gord, what if we're right? Live right now. Are you ready? Find and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Sunday, uh, January the 10th, 2021, and I'm Eric, talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. And tonight's episode is brought to you by OCDC, the insanely accurate ACDC tribute band. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? I'm Good. I'm having, I'm just having fun being me today. <laughs> um, you know what? I've decided uh, upon listening to our latest episode, exactly. if I'm ever dying, I want to be told by Jeffrey Davis. I, just, okay I love that. that dude's voice. I could listen yeah. to that guy talk forever. Yeah, I agree. Really, really stoked that he joined us. That was a ton of fun talking to him. He's just a nah, good guy. Was- Super smart and just that voice. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't live here. I Every thoroughly, woman, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy. That was a lot of fun. I love having him on. Every woman in Canada would be so in love with him just because of that voice. It's just like calm and just the way he says shit. I like it. <laughs> um, you guys can listen to that episode if you like. On uh, try it on Captivate.fm. It's a groovy little site. Um. And it's got a nice little player there. We've got a new player on Radio Public, too. Or you can go straight to the source. Go to ericgord.com. Listen there. Or uh, on the app that I'm working on again. <laughs> and yet another. <laughs> That'll happen someday. Hey, you I still have the one working one. I, I have a game I'm working on. Another one. Like the Magic 8-Ball. Cool. Except this one's a trivia game. I'm finally finishing it up. I had it done last night, and then I magically erased it. That was a ton of fun. So I'll be working on that again right away. But in the meantime, go to ericord.com. Hey, go to that and subscribe. That would be cool. Yeah. If you just there's a you go go to the bottom of the page, and there's a place where you can subscribe. And if you do, I'll send you a pen. And uh, yeah, we could use some subscribers. We got a lot of listeners now, and that's because you guys are awesome. Thank you for that. But um, some subscribing might be good. I wanted to talk to Gord about something before we started, but I didn't. So we'll do that later. Okay. When we're done. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> there was some actual shit went down this weekend. I've been dying to talk to you. I'm dying to hear about it because I have been out of touch with. The not just the not just the Capitol Hill thing, which now four people have uh, died because of that. Uh, it sounds a little suspicious, but. Well, I don't. I mean, like there were cameras everywhere. Yeah, but I haven't seen much footage of anybody being killed or hurt. In that. No, uh, there was the one lady who was shot. Um, she was shot in the neck and she died. Yeah, and then three others had medical complications, like I'm assuming heart attack or something. So COVID, COVID. So even like I mean the literally the only clip I've seen so far of it is the one chick who walks by and she's carrying an onion in her hand in a towel and she's like crying and sniffling and she walks by and said hey what happened she goes I was maced in the face well, what happened she was like well, why that happened she goes well like, why are you here she said, well we're here to we're here to storm Parliament Hill and they maced me in the face. And why and, and why did you come all the way out here? Because it's a revolution. And then just walked away. I'm like, yeah, you, but you wiped did your face. Did she get paid paid she, she just rubbed it? Yeah. She just rubbed it. Yeah, because she literally, as she's talking, she pulls, she takes the the towel and goes up what looks like she's dabbing her face. But you can clearly see she's holding something much larger, larger than just a lump of towel in her hand. Yeah. There was also a lady who, there's a picture of a big, giant, redheaded dude grabbing this lady from behind. And like carrying her off, and she's just been maced. 
And there's people are freaking out. This guy held this woman's arms while someone maced her and blah, blah, blah. And it turns out, no, it was actually the exact opposite of that. He had picked her up and rescued her from the crowd <laughs> and was carrying her out to safety. See, and this is um, the thing I didn't understand, because they've been, like, literally, there's I'm, there's a thing I brought up here, and it literally says, this is, this is off of Al Jazeera, timeline, the deadly Capitol Hill riots. Well, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like, you, nobody fucking ever worded the fucking deadly shit in the buildings, but nobody ever said that was a bad thing that's been going on for six months straight. But this was deadly? Well, yeah. Did anybody actually, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out if somebody actually died from something from it, or if it wasn't just because, like you said. Yes, the lady got shot in the neck and died. I Did just she? told you. Because again, yes. you told me that, congratulations, but I have yet to see anything about it. Okay, well, she died. All you're getting is word of people saying that some woman died. Well, if I'm saying it, you can trust that she did. She died in the hospital. She was shot in the neck. She was a war veteran, 14-year military background. Was Ironic. She, was she one of the security there? Like, was she one of the no, people she there? No, she... she was just there. Was she part of it? Was she not part of it? What was, oh, like... I, I can't ask her, no. I don't know. I'm just... None of it seems real. Just, none of it just seems real. I'm just, I just, I don't get it. It just, it doesn't match up. It just, nothing seems to really match up with anything. Like if this was, if this actually, a there'd be footage of it somewhere, but yet zero footage has been released. Well, not it zero. just makes no sense. Like I've seen yeah. tons of footage of the the people taking over the thing, and but I'm not seeing any of this extreme violence that they keep talking about. Well, that's because they don't tend to show extreme violence, but... They've been doing that for the past 10 years on the fucking news. I'm not sure that... I don't know how much of it was extreme. I I think it's extremely terrifying that, you know, America claiming to be prepared for the next attack and all this, like, preparing for <laughs> terrorism and a bunch of fucking goddamn <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy fans can take over the Capitol? <laughs> Right? See, that's a sh that's insane. <laughs> what is I, going on? Like, I, yeah, I mean, America. I don't think anything has ever made America look more weak than that very moment. Well, the whole situation is making them look bad. Biden speaking out against it um, doesn't help. And he, guess what, kids? You're in for four years of just insane racism. So the first thing Biden did was say, "Oh." If this was black people, it'd be so much worse. Mm. At the Black Lives Matter, they, they would be, they'd be, they would have been killed and blah blah blah. And just black, but but like what? You seriously, you're not even president yet. You're already starting with the Democrat fucking racism. Yep, that's what's going to be for the yeah. next eight years. Well, hopefully four. But... <laughs> um, <laughs> I it's going to be funny. I don't know. I don't care. I'm glad I don't live there. I feel yeah. bad for my friends that do. Um, so, yeah, Capitol Hill suck. You'll hear more about it as they piece together what they want us to think happened. Yeah. <laughs> well said. <laughs> I've got some real news, so I'm going to play this for you guys. You're going to get a lot of this in the new season. Oh, breaking news. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, two big stories that really caught my eye last week. I've been dying to talk about story number one. Mexican president um, Juan de la Taco Suave <laughs> is refusing to recognize Joe Biden as the president of the USA. He's announcing his surprising loyalty to the Donald. Just uh, so weird. <laughs> it's this is why. There's a guy, he's like the head of the Mexican version of like the FDA. Mm -hmm. And he was arrested in California on charges of taking bribes from drug cartels and essentially working for the cartels and not the Mexican police. Uh, he was quickly arrested and then released by the Trump government. And flown back to Mexico and 
not charged with anything. And that's weird because <laughs> they Very had a weird. lot of evidence against him. Um, but he walked free. And then all of a sudden, the Mexican president and Donald Trump were besties. Huh. Um, and that led to, obviously, some very uh, favorable trade talks with Mexico, much more favorable than Canada had in, the, in those negotiations. Yeah. And, uh, and just this weird friendship that shouldn't be happening because he's a very uh, right-wing dude. But, or sorry, left, sorry. Left wing, but and yeah, and he's a very left wing guy, and you shouldn't like the Trump, but he does. And Trump responded by saying that uh, the two are planning a small COVID free wedding this summer. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's weird, though. Like, I mean, it's just I don't know, it's, it's literally it's, it's the last person I ever expected to hear support from. He owes Trump. For free and his dude. Yeah. Because his dude should be like on death row for working for the cartels. And instead he's not. So that's good. They they think like there was there's no Mexico doesn't have anything on America. Like there's no reason for this guy to have been set free. Like there's no no way they could have they didn't have enough to like blackmail Trump into doing that. So it's Trump's did it for a reason. And now it 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 shows, I guess. I guess. That's one more guy to uh, have saying that this election's a scam and Biden stole it and blah, blah, blah. Drag it out even longer. <laughs> Weird. Like, when you first told me about it, I'm just, I just, I couldn't wrap my head around it. It's just, yeah. Like, well, what? no one really can. No one understands why they've been friends, but now we know. Because <laughs> uh, they're both scumbags and. <laughs> and all the good people that work for them are scumbags, and they're they're just scumbagging each other. Well, when the trouble. most when one of the most corrupt countries on the planet fucking <laughs> turns oh, around and supports Trump, yeah, it says a lot. <laughs> their corruption is it just knows no bounds. Mm-mm. Like Not the I, listening to um um the old he, he was like the the Tijuana. Uh, chief of police, basically, mm -hmm. who was dealing with border crossings and stuff. And he just said the corruption, like the border crossings, like they depend in Mexico on the money from people sneaking across the border and working in the States. Their economy is so heavily based on that, that they don't do anything to stop the border crossings. Um, <laughs> because they count on you getting to America and sending money back to your family so your family can spend it like they're they're. Their economy depends on it. So that's just ridiculous. Wow. They're, they're pretending to stop. They're helping with the border wall, but really they need people in America. So they're not really doing anything about it. Just like they're not doing anything about drugs because <laughs> they get paid very well not to. That's right. Because the drug uh, cartel makes a lot of money. Oh, it's just stupid money. Yeah. And it's very cheap in America because they pay for everything with marijuana. And California has second only to BC bud. So compared to Mexican bud, that's some good currency. <laughs> I didn't think that even Mexican even had anything decent anymore. I thought that once it, like once Canada no, and parts they of America, have shit. It, yeah, it's they still a shit, shit, right? Yeah. But, but yeah, and California gets all their good drugs from mexico and just tra it trades them weed weed's the biggest currency down there that's fucking crazy <laughs> um but it's just been legalized in mexico too or de decriminalized so decriminalized yeah we'll see what happens i don't know it's I interesting i i don't like sharing a content with these two continent with these two no no not at all if we could break off of them that'd be great <laughs> We'll just, I think what we should do, we should just, just break right across the fucking border and we'll take Alaska. <laughs> we're just going to break it off and just, we're going to go, we're going to go somewhere else. You can have Alaska. I don't care. <laughs> I just want it because it's apparently very pretty there. I want to go just to look. Yeah, I like that, that Alaska State Troopers show. It looks neat. Yeah. <laughs> the scenery is all nice. The scenery is very pretty. <laughs> 
I don't know. I, I can't imagine they're very like American there. No, I don't. Like, 